Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's video we're going to check out something a little unusual for us over at HD Piano. This is a classical song by Frédéric Chopin called Prelude in E Minor, but it's very simple, very approachable, but also very sad, very dark, and has the potential to kind of bring you down, not going to lie, but in, a, in, a, in that really rich, emotional, beautiful way. So... Without further ado, I'm going to show you what we're doing in this video, and as usual, the rest of the videos with the whole song can be found over at hdpiano.com. Bust out that handkerchief, here we go. All right, we're going to stop there. So, what's, what are we working with here? Well, we're, we're in the key of E minor, but what makes this song so unique is that it's just this ever-morphing, beautiful melody atop these rootless voicings in the left hand, you know, kind of high on the, on the piano as far as the left hand goes. Middle C is, is here. And, you know, one note, at a chi one note at a time, it's morphing ever so slightly. And it's just this... I love this song. That's all. I, that's all I can say. But I do have a question for you guys. It, as soon as I hear the song, I think of Radiohead, and even when I try and recall this song by Chopin, I, I I automatically go into singing Radiohead. So I'm curious if you guys are familiar with that song. If you have any guesses, drop them below in the comments. So to begin, we start with an octave in the right hand, from a B right below middle C to an octave above. This might be the hardest moment for the left hand in this particular video, because other than that, we're just moving in step, in little tiny steps. So we hold this for three beats. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One. So I'm going to stop there because, as you might have noticed, I played all of two notes, B and C. So B for three beats and C for one beat. And that can, that's what the right hand does for the first three measures. Now the left hand is where the, you know, that ever-morphing, it's where the real interest is generated. So we'll check that out. By the way, that pickup is on beat four. Four E and a one. Now, when I count things off, it's all somewhat relative because with a song like this, it's all about the expressive, the push and pull of the time. So don't feel like you have to be stuck with a metronome or anything. If, if, if anything, this is a song that can really flow. So, you know, think about it like a breath. One, two, three. All right, so our first note, or our first chord, rather, in the left hand is a G, a B, and an E. And we pedal this for the whole measure. Speaking of pedal, when I say pedal, I mean repeat. But of course, you'll be, you might be wondering what to do with your foot on that pedal on your piano there. So basically, as a general rule for this song going forward, anytime the chord or the melody changes, lift it up and put it back down. We just want to kind of clear the resonance and let that new chord sink in. All right, so the first measure. So our thumb stays the same in the left, and we switch to an F sharp and an A. Okay? And we do that for two beats, meaning four, you know, one and two and. So we play this four times. One and two and. We bring our thumb down to an E flat and play this four times. Three and four and. Now we just bring our pinky down to an F. Play that four times. We bring our thumb down to a D, and then bring our middle finger to a G sharp, and we land here. 
All right, so that's three measures down. I'm definitely going to go right back and do it again for you guys. But just notice how it's always one thing at a time. I think the first change might be two notes, but after that, one note at a time. That's just compositionally quite, quite a masterpiece, if you ask me. So, three, and four, one, two, thumb to E flat, four, pinky to F, thumb to D, three, middle to G sharp, four, one. And now we're at the next half. But for the sake of repetition, I'm going to do it one more time, even slower, and just calling it out as we go. So here we go. Two, three, four. All right, F sharp and A. Thumb to E flat. Pinky to F. Thumb to D. Middle finger to G sharp. Pinky to E. Okay, good work. Let me go ahead and show you the melody for the next half, and then I'll introduce the left hand. So as you notice, we just landed on B, but now instead of going up to C, we're gonna descend to an A with a B flat in the middle. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, B to A again. B, A, two, three, B, A. All right, and we'll stop there. So we were here with our left hand. So let's bring our left hand back. E, G sharp, and D. And we've got four of these, so beats one and two and. And our middle finger is going to go to G for two, and then our thumb is going to come to C sharp for beat four. And then it's going to come down to A. So you'll notice there's a little parallel motion happening between the melody and the upper voice of the left hand. Okay, so here we are. E, G sharp, and D with a B in the melody. Three and four and one, two, middle to G, thumb to C sharp, four, one, thumb to C, four of these, three and four and stay, interesting. Three, oops, three, four, one. All right, so I kind of abandoned you guys there. I'm sorry about that. Let's go back, and I'll be calling out the left hand as we go. Here we are, E, G, sharp, and D. One and two, middle to G, thumb to C sharp with the melody, thumb to C, two, middle to F sharp, three, four, stay with the left, back to A in the right, now pinky to D sharp, melody, and pinky to D, and here we end on a D7 chord, but of course it's not, well actually it does somewhat resolve, it's tough to say, it's, is any of this resolving or is it just this ever flowing motion? It's uh, certainly a work of art, though. Got to applaud Chopin. Unfortunately, he had a short life. I'm looking at the sheet music right here, which, by the way, is public domain, so I highly recommend finding a copy and following along, and you'll see you can trace the progress of each voice in the left hand and see when it stays and see when it moves. But Chopin only lived to be 39 years old, which is a real travesty, if you ask me. Let's do that second half one more time. Middle to G, thumb to C sharp, thumb to C, middle to F sharp, three and four, one, two, pinky to D sharp, four, pinky to D. Okay, great. I'll play this out for you guys one more time, and then I hope to see you guys over at hdpiano.com with the rest of the videos.
All right, and that'll do it. I do want to make one last note, which is, like I was saying earlier, the time is so flowing that you can even think about separating the elements, separating the melody from the left hand. Notice there was a little delay there. As you wish. Delay the right hand, make it early if you want. Hit it at the same time. The choice is yours, my friends. That's the beauty of having a written piece of music, you know, a classical piece, but being able to interpret as you wish. So again, we'll see you over at hdpiano.com for the rest of the videos. And in the meantime, give us a shout on Twitter, at hdpiano. That's where we take requests using the hashtag hdrequests. Instagram, at hdpiano, where we're happy to repost your performances of anything you learned from our catalog. And give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash hdpiano. This is Devin, tuning out. Thanks.